Radio.tv. What is up, y'all? We're fucking back here on the We Don't Smoke the Same Show, and we are here with fucking... Look, man, there's not too many times where we get we kind of get an opportunity to, like... When you follow an Instagram account, you know, especially, like, an account, like, for example, like, let's say you post, like, a crazy video account or a crazy content account, you don't ever see the person that's behind it, except for, like, something like this is 50com where obviously 50 is... Everybody knows, but... We're here with fucking grind face. Grind face. <laughs> I was, what up, man? I want I want to go ahead and just welcome you to the We Don't Smoke the Central. Feel free to lay out one of these nuts. You know what I mean? They're our sponsor. He's good. Oh, there you go. He got one right there. Can't go wrong with them. All right, man. Yo, I got to ask you. I asked you off there, but I'm going to ask you during on air. And um, you said this isn't your first interview, right? No, no. Right off the bat, you said... Man, I'm not used to being on this side of the camera. Considering the amount of content that Grindface posts up and the type of content that posts up, I'm, I'm like, I would have thought I was like, man, the, the lights is it? That, don't, that make you squeamish? <laughs> like, you know, I'm like, I'm like, you be posting up fights. They be posting up fucking what the inside of the human body look like. Some wild you know, shit. Just, it only affect the mind no more. If you do it so much, it comes natural. It's like, yeah. You know, somebody jumping off a 12-story building, smack on the floor. Fuck. Most people be like, ugh. Yo, ugh. I, 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 you can't see them, but goosebumps, I got them. Like, you know, I'm like, because, <laughs> you know, there's sometimes, whenever I see, um, when I'm, when I'm on, on the Grindface account, and, uh, I, and, and, I, and I see you guys post something, like, yeah, all the funny stuff, automatic, but when I see the little eye and the crossed out thing, and it says, yeah, yeah. review it, I look at the comments first, bro. <laughs> like, I, li- I, I literally look at the comments because I don't want to fucking, I don't want to see one of these videos where it's like, yo, a fucking eagle just killed this puppy or fucking, you know, or like, fucking or, day up, huh? yeah, somebody like, you know, be like, yo, we found this in your meat, you know, like, like be careful when you go to Jack in the Box or some shit. Like, that shit fucks me. Is there anything at this point that, what is it, um, makes you like, that, that doesn't make the cut, bro? Oh, man, a lot of stuff. So once we got bigger, um, more eyes was on us, and I guess Instagram started watching the page. So a lot of even fights I can't post, man. Their guidelines are so strict that they on my page, everything I post. So they'll, they'll take some of your shit down right away? Yeah, they, they would um, delete it off the page. I remember because... So, report, so many reports will get your page banned. Fuck. Fuck. So that's what I try to avoid. So my content is kind of lighting up now. You ain't gonna see no dead body. I, I have noticed that, man, because I remember you took a break for a, a little bit, man. And you know, usually when people are so used to seeing your your content, the first thing they ask after they don't see you post for a day, yo, what happened to such and such? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The, the funny thing about that, I'd be like, you can't do the search and just type in grind face. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's like that easy, man. Because I had to change the page, so I have to rename the page. But because the page got banned. I got to make a whole new page and rename it, but I always leave Grindface in it somewhere. Man, how long have you been doing Grindface for? Man, I started in 2011 with apparel, Grindface apparel. Then I turned to Grindface TV back in 2016. Yes. I was like, I needed an audience. You know what I'm saying? It's no need to sell merchandise for you, nobody. You know what I'm saying? So you need to build an audience yep. to provide the merchandise. See, I hope, somebody, I hope some of y'all out there are taking notes. Thinking that, you know, that's how people used to think when it was easy to start your own fucking extract company. They'll go to fucking Staples and buy the little fucking envelope and make, make a sticker off the fucking, <laughs> off, 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 the, off the printer and shit. And then be like, yeah, I got my own company. It's not that easy. You know what I mean? It really isn't. Uh, you like, gotta put it in work, man, if you want to grow. Man, that is. It's not, it's not easy. Is, is, do you still have that ambition to make the clothing out of it or is it just more of a Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to hit them with the, the second coming. So I'm just wanting to wait till I hit a million, then stuff coming with the grind face like product. Like more and more of the merch and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I started back in 2011, I got over 100 designs. Damn. So it wasn't really selling. You know, everybody just wanted to rock them in their videos and shit like that. Yeah. But the people wasn't really buying. I mean, yeah, ain't, ain't that ain't that a bitch, man? I think when you try to start a company on the internet, or when you try to get support on pe- on sometimes from people on the internet, like. Even if you're like giving them something that they would buy from anybody else, it, it's it's so weird that they have that effect where they don't really want to fuck with it. Until they see a until they yeah you know until saying? they start seeing somebody else start fucking with it. You know Every, that's bigger. Followers, everybody's followers, man. You get a swear leader, takes to somebody to rock a non-name brand in or, Hollywood. They or or that. people will rock it. Or people will hit you up like if they see you. Oh, I have my own shirts. Like here's and you know me because I I do merch and shit with my shows and shit. Yeah. 
And when people hit me up right away, it's like, yo, let me get something and I'll wear it. This is not, it's like, look, like I got people that pay for my shirts that fucking wear yeah, it and I don't have not, to fucking give it to them for free. Not. Like, so it's just, I think people just have this fucked up misconception of like what it's like to try to support, support one another. You know what I mean? Like something like this, it could be, you could be selling them the same shit. And they'll go elsewhere. And then we'll go somewhere else and be like, yo, I'd rather support such and such. Be like, <laughs> like, man. Like be like yo, like I only support ABC ABC company. Like if you ex- it's, it's till you get big and everybody's talking about you now. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, give me another year. Grind face TV, grind face apparel would be cool to wear. Watch. I'm hey man, I mean, <laughs> that shit's already cool, man. Because people like whenever I see the logo, like, cause you know what I mean. If I see if like for example, I would say a competitor or somebody that's equal like you, or I would definitely say a competitor, man. Cause somebody like a it would be like World Star, and I think just you know whenever I think World Star, they don't have a jingle that comes up to my head. Like, we, all, yeah. all I think, what do you think, Shiki? Somebody in the background screaming, world star. Yeah, that's their thing where everyone's just, oh, world star. Yeah, but. like, that's what I hear. But like, when people just see the grind face, I, I even, I have to say it like, yo, grind face. Yeah, that's why I came up with that outro, so most people don't know. Is that you? It. Yeah, that's me. I did the, 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 <laughs> I did the little auto. You know, how, you know how to do it live? Grind face. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it live. That's, that's, that's that um, studio magic. <laughs> hey, I know what that's you know like, what bro. Saying? So basically, I'll put that siren even with the police siren. You know what I'm saying? That every boop time, boop. if you every time you hear that boop boop, you know your daddy about to fuck up. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, pay attention now. Everybody's paying attention in the cars. Well, what was so that's what I wanted to grab your attention because naturally, every time we hear that whoop whoop, we we focus. Yeah, if I watch you know videos, I've been watching videos in my car sometimes, and, I, and I'm, I'm like waiting to park somewhere, and I watch it this shit, and at the end, like you know, I forget that that's just in there, and I look, I'm like, oh shit. Like I look back, I was like, damn, they just pulled up on me. While I was watching and videos. That's the purpose right there. It grabs your attention. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention. It also it gets you paranoid. You know? <laughs> like it gets me paranoid. Sheik, do you have uh, any any fucking videos in particular that you that you remember from Crime Face? Because I mean, all of them are crazy, but that you're like, fuck, I gotta follow this. Not account. anything in particular. I mean. I- I would go for the comments too and shit, cause when arguing. anyone, nah, but when anyone would like try to talk shit, he'd be like, "Oh, you want to join the VIP list, huh?" Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the, that's the category. Wanna... I mean, I'm probably a thousand in there right now. Hey, you <laughs> blocked a thousand probably, motherfuckers? Yeah, yeah, I could probably start a new page with all the people in my block. <laughs> hey, somebody's gonna fucking t- uh, make make that into a page. All the people that you you bad are gonna make their own VIP list page. VIP checkbox, man. Once you blow up and you get the little fucking uh, check mark, uh, what is it? They're gonna they're gonna for sure make that. All the people that been bad they'll be like, look, man, I'm blocked. Like, and, add and me the, to this page. And the funny thing, man, a lot of people will be asking, what's the VIP check mark? I'm gonna go. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> it's not somewhere you. It's not somewhere you wanna yeah. be. Yeah, yeah, well, I got inboxes of people apologizing, begging to un- unblock. Yeah. <laughs> I, I to start charging people to unblock. Right? <laughs> I was, I was gonna, I was gonna say, do, you, do you remember the first video that took off for you? That you're like, holy fuck, this is a million views. I can't believe it's got this much. Man, the first video I see took off was this fucking man dressed like a bitch, <laughs> <laughs> shaking, wearing a sundress, shaking his ass, and his thing is. You can see the shadow bounce between his dress. That <laughs> and that's, shit went viral, and that's when I was, that's when my page took off. You know what I'm saying? That video right there on Facebook. Which, and where, the funny thing, did you film that? On Facebook, hell no. Nah. <laughs> 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 nah, and plus also the video made national news. That was pretty cool. I was getting. You know I'm, what I'm saying? It was on ABC, CNN, Telemundo. You know what I'm saying? It was on every big news platform. That is that that's fucking crazy. Is there is it? I mean, the fact that like that's the one that that took off. Like, if we could find that video, that'd be you know that that'd be that'd be cool. Or if not, I might have to look that up. But you're you're, you're talking you you constantly after that. I imagine you. How do you fucking find? Like you know how like news stations they have reporteros and cool. fucking reporters. How I find the videos? Yeah, like yeah, cause you know like people have like like let's say for TMZ, somebody would be like, Yo, Harvey, what's up? I got this video of such as us. Like, do you got people out there that are like yo, they treat it at TMZ? They're like, Yo, man, I got this crazy the video. The fans is the people, man. That's what they, that's what keeps that's, the machine running. That's keep the machine running, showing my fans love, uh, giving them a tag in the video. You know what I'm saying? Most people, oh, why you didn't tag the artist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah person, man. That, that nigga didn't send me the video. He ain't saying about <laughs> grind face. So I tagged the person who sent me the video, and boom, they get a little shine light too. I mean, who don't want to see their name on grind face TV? Yeah, yeah man. People, hey, people cry over that shit, bro. Yeah. People, like, I don't understand what it is, man. Like, 
you're just getting a little credit, like your your little credit. But I get it. Like some to some people, that validation that means yeah. means means the world. It's like I need that. I, the funny thing, they don't cry to World Star, but World Star take the video post. Cause World Star don't tag them. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. And ain't nobody crying about that shit. They bragging, and they sharing it. World, World Star, World Star will straight will straight up fucking be like, man, fuck, like I ain't worried about you. Exactly. They ain't gonna tag you. They ain't gonna give you no kind of sign. So I took that formula right there and gave it to my audience. So when they get raw, new, unseen content, they're going to send it to me. Man, that's a, yeah. I mean, you being able to see so many fucking things, like so many videos. Do you remember like one video that you were just like, I don't know about this. Like, this shit really shocked me. Because I imagine after so many years, like you could fucking damn near see somebody fall out of the sky, like you said. And like, it that was a video of this that always. It's like, I don't know, remember it is, but I know it was bad because I'd be like, I second guess, should I post this? <laughs> and so when I woke up the next morning, my page was gone. And that was the answer that God damn it was. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> what was that shit? I, I can't remember it was, but it was something crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? It was something crazy. Man, that is, that's fucking, not, that's, that's wild right there, man. Yeah, I got to kind of go soft, man, because there's a lot of soft asses out there. Yep. If you read the comments, there's always somebody in there crying. Oh, yeah, like, you, you kind of really, like, especially with content like that, you have to kind of, like, for example, if you post up some shit that angers motherfuckers, like, you know what I mean, that gets in their feelings, yeah, and they those, say, those and they say some, IP, blah, and, and they say some shit that, like, you know, like, just some crazy, outrageous shit that offends some people, and they get soft about it, some of these people make that shit into a big-ass deal, bro, and th once they get that screenshot of the shit that you said, you know what I mean, like, it, people are soft, man, people can't take, like, like that fucking crazy. Yeah, that's why I gotta really come and be more of a business. Is that why you do the the, the VIP business. list? Yeah. Like, yeah, because it's like, I yo. Mean, because once you see a sensitive ass, my page ain't ain't for you. You already in the comments complaining. Why should I allow him to see the rest of my content? Yeah. Or he's gonna report. He's gonna keep crying. So yep. why why wait till he report my page? Just, just block his ass real quick. <laughs> that's the smartest you know shit right there, man. Yep. <laughs> you hear that, people? This is coming from somebody who's been. Fucking doing this shit on Instagram for a minute right here. Whenever you got motherfuckers that complain on your page and have an opinion, they, or they give an over opinion about some shit that you posted up, or they feel offended, or whatever the fuck it is, fucking block that shit. Make your own VIP list. You know what I mean? Man. Like, that's what you call it right there. You make your VIP list, and you block them motherfuckers. Because, like, yo, man, for real. Like, when somebody will, will pop, if I make a video, and I, if, let's say I break a fucking bong. Somebody's gonna be like, man, I, I would bought that bong. I don't even have my shit. I'd be like, you know what, dude? Fuck you, man. You're gonna get blocked, dude. Yeah, I don't like. Waste your time. Yeah, why are you gonna report my video yeah. over your salty ass? I don't need somebody fucking bringing me down. Like, at least, I'm, yeah, exactly. And that's the formula, man. To keep a page going. Or like, it, if if I say a move. certain word and somebody's like, oh man, I can't believe you're so disrespectful. You say shit. Be like, you know what, man? Fuck you, certain word. And then I fucking block them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they get the, <laughs> they get the message first, and then they get blocked. Like, I don't want to. You have to make a whole new page if you want to. If you want to make that effort. Exactly. Most won't do it, but most will though. What do, What do you like posting the most? What I like, uh, uh, what? The fine ass grills. <laughs> now that's the that's the even that's all over there. That's a waste of yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> right. And people really don't stay for that anyways. But more on um, the cops videos. Like the they, crazy, they abusing, shocking shit? Yeah, they abuse their, uh, overusing their power. Yeah. They get a lot of commotion and get the comments going in there, too, also. I think um, by, by, that, that's dope that you post that kind of shit, man. Like, you know, you you need people need to see that kind of shit. People want to say I'm biased, man. I have nothing against the police. I'm just showing Yeah, you know what's, what's crazy? Going on. They, 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 they put you on. in that category. Yeah, like. They, they put you in that category, and they, and they tell you. You know what? Oh, you're you're on you're on the fucking the the the, the criminal side. Yeah. This is not. It's like, yo, I'm just letting you know what it is. It's like, it's like for example, like, yo, the only reason fucking Vietnam stopped was because some reporters went out there and they fucking put those pictures on national TV and yeah. people were like, yeah. people oh shit, it. that's what Agent Orange is. We need to stop this shit. So if you didn't see, if you didn't have accounts like Grindface, they were posting up these brutalities and shit like that. Just imagine the other fucking the crazy shit they would be getting away with more or like, you know. Uh, I just got deleted off my page today. The guy stepped over the line, and the cop whooped him and his wife ass. Damn. Damn. Wait, the is cop. that is that the one with the cop like trips? Like you know, he like he, he tried to swing it. He, he, yeah, he tripped. Yeah, that yeah, was a yeah. that was a crazy yeah. video. And that they got reported. That's an, that, you know what I'm saying. People don't they don't they don't want to see it, man. That's the, that is an excessive use of power, man. Like that video is crazy. Did you see that, Shiki? I have not seen that video. That video, like so so it's, it's a scenario, and like you know. It, 
he's the cops like telling the dude like, hey, you know, like, like you know, he's telling him, like, yo, he stay. Don't cross that line. Yeah, don't cross that line. And like, he doesn't even like move like that much. I think he just like took like a little step. Yeah, he put a little toe over the line. <laughs> 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 a little toe over the line. He put like a yeah. He put. Like, the cop came in with a power punch uh, and missed. <laughs> like, yeah, he straight out missed it. He, like, fell down. And then, like, he, then he started fucking up his wife, bro. Like, he started just punching oh, he her. Felt, he felt fucking embarrassed over that shit. Because the camera, dude, the person was recording it right there. So, like, he's like, fuck. They got that on video. Yep. So, homie was like, I'm just going to start oh, I'm going to fuck both wife. of them up now. Yeah. And then the other cops started joining in. It's like, man. man that's just crazy, man. Do you ever, you ever had um, anybody hit you up that's been in the video be like, yo, can you please not post that no more? <laughs> I got that one right now. Somebody is in my inbox begging. Uh, that was a low point in my life. Can you, I got oh. kids, <laughs> kids, and now it's, wow. y'all probably seen the video. It's the lady in the passenger seat beating her head in. No, I have oh, not. Man. Oh man, that's still yeah, up go, there. Yeah, it's still up there, man. She's in my inbox now, asking, "Can I delete it?" But um, that's what the people want. That's what the people <laughs> want to see. I mean, shit. <laughs> that's the case. My whole page be down. It's somebody in every video. Yeah. I that mean, is, once it's out on the internet, it's 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 out there. It's, that's can't why, control it. What's the, that's why, like, you know, in regards to, like, advice to motherfuckers out there that are doing stupid shit and, or, or just like, yo, man, like, you thinking that nobody's watching? Somebody's always watching. And it's once... Times, yeah. And once... You probably got the camera recording. Yep, there's a camera everywhere. And once and once, once they get you out there and it gets posted, like, by pages, like, grind face and this is and that, yo, that, that that's it. You I hit, had one with, um, at a restaurant, at a chicken restaurant in... I think it's Ontario. The lady came in cussing out the management. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was just happy about the order of chicken and waffles. And I, you know, <laughs> I flipped my camera up and got the recording and shit. Yeah. So basically, the cook, um, the cook was molesting the the 16 year old employee or something, finally touching oh, on that shit. Right. Yeah. So the video went private, on viral. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the, the restaurant and shit tried to send their lawyers and shit after me. Off some shit like that, man. Man, what the I fuck? Like, I was the like, you, they try to get you in trouble over them doing something that's a f- obviously a Very fucking crazy, crime, man. Dude. It's that... crazy. So a lot of these businesses, they will reach out and uh, send me a letter, you know what I'm saying, try to intimidate me to take the video down because it happened at the establishment and shit. Hey, man, that's but, if, if it happens there, dude, like. That's probably the crazy shit came across my shit, like some crazy shit like that. So some of the videos that you have gotten up there, you have filmed, right? You have filmed yeah, yourself? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Like, do you, do you know when some shit's about to happen? Like, you feel it? Like, you're like, oh, shit, some shit's about to pop off right now? Well, when you're in the environment, you already know when shit starts yeah. bubbling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, you that, can feel it. You that's feel how the I, energy, you know what I'm saying? That's it's how you energy go, out there. That's how you go to the projects and not... Yeah, you feel the energy. You yeah. already know some shit about to happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like it's like you go to the projects and it's like you know where to find the, the, the crackhead that's going to get you a million views. <laughs> this is it's, you know, the crazy yeah, shit. it's crazy, man. So, but like I said, a lot of the fans, Without their support, I wouldn't be getting the crazy shit. You have half of the time you, when I post shit now, Raw Star and all the other big pages want to post the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they go straight to the person I tag because that's the original person that sent me the video. But you know what I'm saying? I give them a little shine, like you know. I feel like well, I mean that's cool that you do because a lot of these pages they don't, and I think that's the reason people make a big deal out of it. But yeah, people, man, people get stingy with their followers, man. <laughs> it's like <laughs> shit. How many of them? That's a big. If you got a big ass page and you only got like ten thousand followers, they ain't gonna shot you out right. You're right. Or <laughs> tag you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Man, you're right, man. That, that 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 shit is different. But you know, a lot of people really act like these kind of followers. <coughs> if your followers are not paying your bills, you know what I mean? Like it's some shit like that. Honestly, yeah, man, I it, agree, man, it's not that serious, man. Like it's it's the internet. You know what I'm saying? Like. Eventually, how? It's the new age, man. The internet is the future, man. Off my Instagram, I already made 20000 in one year. God damn, off man. Instagram. Uh, I'll give you, know you the plot. That's just promo on all this. Simple. Simple shit, man. Yeah. That's, 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 the, that's the business move right there, man. Start putting, start putting your fucking, uh, your Instagram will work for you. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, my whole model, too. I'm going to stay at damn near. 60% of the world store because they charge at least $3,000 being posted on their page. Oh, yeah. Three to $5,000. And, and yeah, right. motherfuckers got to be paying. Yeah, you, you know, know when saying? you see so many shitty rappers out there or a motherfucker you ain't yeah. never heard of, you know the motherfucker hit them up with that email and they was like, that's five yeah, racks right exactly. there. <laughs> Fucking, they're like, oh, little, per- little Percocet wants a video shout out. 
<laughs> be like, oh, this. Yeah, be like Cashing this fucking in. hair grow product coming back. Put <laughs> session. Yeah, well, yo, man, they hit everything. So if man. I have the same audience in World Star, it keep my prices way lower than them. They get because you, we all know yeah. the street rappers. They all broke majority. Of them. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you ain't got yep. no money to promote. Yep, no three thousand. People think 5, entrepreneurs 000. is rich, bro. So you, yeah, you <laughs> save it down there, probably a thousand people will come. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right about that, man. It's you have to look at it from a business point of view, man, because like, hey, these you can't like it's like when somebody tells you it's like, oh, it's a great uh, opportunity of exposure and this is and that. It's like, listen, that's all great and shit, but like, I, my my fucking you know my bills don't get paid with yeah, exposure. No, I agree. So that's you gotta, that. You gotta know how to transfer the exposure to a transaction. Yeah, like don't get you mad at the fact that you that it's not working for you yet. That just means you haven't figured it out yet. But if you have that following out there, and you know you. you You've been putting in the work and been seeing it. Just try something different because what you've been doing probably don't work for you. You know what I mean? You got to look at it differently. Maybe switch the shirt up, something. You know what I mean? Like, I agree. I agree. yeah, like you got to, I mean, that doesn't mean that it's, it's, it's set up for failure. It's just like, yo, you got to find the niche that works for you and fucking make that shit. And that's why I made fucking. that transition from apparel to TV. You know what I'm saying? Because the apparel wasn't working for me. Uh, do you think, I mean, yo, like seeing it the way you like, do you think like, since you're like, oh, it's not selling so much, like for the apparel, but like, you think you would have made that selling apparel as like what you what you made off of just one year, as compared to like where you're at on Instagram now? Yeah, the apparel didn't do shit. I lost way more money than uh, putting it in man, apparel, man. Man, I, I feel that, you that, on that, that's why man. I was like, let me chase the audience. Let me build that audience first. Then we come back. You see, you see, got to. that's my perfect example right there of um, what I'm talking to you people like. Um, you know, like you can't just like he like he said, yo. You try doing grind phases and apparel first, right? Yep, 2011. And and yo, it, you were you were losing money more than making money, even though you had a business mindset and you had that layout, right? But it wasn't working for you, and it, you know people weren't buying this shit. But you turned that same name and that same franchise into something that is working for you, and like now you're like, hey, you're like, hey, the tree's not fully grown yet, but like, yo, it's giving me fruits. Exactly. You know what exactly. I mean? Like it's giving me way more fruits than the last fucking crop. You can't. Um... You, you got to take the failure for it for You got to take the L, man. A lot of people don't want to take the L. They embarrassed. So they would keep feeding it and losing money, losing money, because they don't want to take that L. Man, sometimes you got to replan the design. That is, that, that's very true right there, man. If y'all, if y'all out there wondering, you know, how do you, how do you get these pieces to the puzzle? Well, yo, man, I hope you've been taking notes, man. Um, listen, man, I, I, I've enjoyed coming up, well, you coming up here and chopping it up with us, man. And it's like, I know, in case you don't know out there, if you want to follow this page and see what we're talking about, that is at Grindface TV, right? Yep, Grindface TV. It's, it's private, my right? My personal page is I am Grindface. There it is. Yo, man, he's like, I am legend. He's like, I am Grindface. <laughs> <laughs> man, dude, and do you have merch like for, that they could check out too? They love Grindface that much? Uh, I got merch. You could go to GrindfaceTV.com. It could um, transfer, transfer you to the big cartel um, box. I took a lot of shit down, so I'm at the basic stuff right now. Probably two, three designs. Hey, some people just some people want you know the basic stuff. That's cool. The, the outgoing know? funds on running that website. What about um, what is it? If somebody out there has some crazy shit that has not been seen, but they know it's crazy, can they send they, that? They can send a DM me or um email grindfacetv at gmail. There it is, grindfacetv at gmail. And we will tag you. And yep, there you go. He he heard it here. He said we will tag you. Grindface at gmail dot com. Is Grindface just just regular not Grindface TV? Grindface at Gmail? Uh, yeah. All right, so Grindface at Gmail dot com if you have some shit. Cause I know some Wait, of us. You said Grindface at what? You said Grindface at Gmail or is it Grindface, Grindface TV? Okay. At gmail. Grindface TV at Gmail dot com. Again, Grindface TV at Gmail dot com. Yeah, he's fucking it all. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you want to go ahead and send your content out there, or just hit him with the DM because we got international viewers, so there might be a motherfucker in Finland that's like, oh shit, this shit yeah, fucking happen. Yeah. Shit, shit, Yo, for real, like you want you want to get tagged and you want to get right, fucking hit them up at Grindface TV. Yep. Um, all right, man, stay tuned right here with us on the We Don't Smoke the Same Show. We will take a little quick break and be back with our second guest of the night, OG Rome from Road Dog Entertainment. We'll be right back. And a big thank you once again to our homie Grindfish for coming up in here yeah. behind the Instagram page. Be real. Grindfish. <laughs> 